Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Friday, it's June the 13th. This will be our chart lesson for today, and it's really been slow since about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Not much has happened at all. We're really finding strong resistance here at uh, 1927, 50, 27, 75. Uh, really, I just call it 1928. We've turned down there every time we've touched it. Uh, we continue to test it, so. I've been expecting prices to, to retest these highs. It looks like we've got a slanting channel. It's more of a type of a range day, and it really did look like a, it really was a range early on. But once we broke out and got a little more price action, it looks like we've got um, a trading um, or a channel working up here. And we do have a um, two-legged, a little failed second entry short right here. So we got a you know, prices have got to get higher. We just, like I said, we're really struggling to get through that 1928 level there. So we'll see what happens. Um, that's what I'm, I've been really looking for a retest of these highs um, all morning. But, uh, you know, nothing much is happening. It's uh, it's 2 o'clock now. So for really since 11, last three hours, nothing much has happened at all. So we'll see what happens. But um, I'm still looking for prices to at least make a new high above this 28 area so we'll see what happens here but let's talk about the trades and what I saw early on this was the first trade I saw we had this double bottom uh, we it broke lower and failed comes up pulls back traps everybody you get a second entry long so I like that uh, it was definitely looking rangy prices swinging both sides of the uh, range we had this little trend line working down it looks like we had a even though it was minor we did have a close outside a move to a new low and then the trap uh, you know, you don't know necessarily expect it to go up that fast, but it did. And then you make a double top. And there's actually a little trap right there on my chart, but I still didn't like it. If it would have went below that bar all in the same move, I would have liked it better. But I, w I wanted to wait and, and get a second entry off that high. Or really, this was a failed second entry long, so when it broke lower, we had a short trap. Fairly easy move. You got this channel working down. And you can treat this like a new high almost. And so it's like, a, a again, when it turned down right here, it's like a failed second entry short. It's coming right off the little trend line. You're looking for prices to come back down here. You didn't really have the channel yet. All you had was uh, a trading range. And so uh, it pulled right back. It made me a little nervous. But then you get a uh, second entry short right there. And notice this. You got a new low. Even though it made a slight tick lower there, it's it's still close enough. It's two legs back. Uh, it's a failed second entry long with a nice bullish bar. Um, so still a chance to get short. Easy move down. I didn't like this one because you're we're so you've got the break here, move to a new low, and you didn't have a real good signal bar. It, it moved on down pretty quickly, but I didn't like entering right there. Uh, it would just there's there's enough room to get out before the the double bottom, but there's not much room here, and it's not a very nice signal bar, and you already had a close outside and a move to a new low, so we could have easily went higher there. Um, so I didn't like entering short there. If you did, it's a little risky. It might have been a better setup on some of the other charts, so I'll go ahead and mark it. But I just don't think it's a very good setup. And then, of course, you get the bounce here. It's it's a little aggressive still, um, but it's a very small bar with low risk. Uh, aggressive traders are going to take that. And then you get the little break lower and the turn higher. So I like that one for sure. And off it goes. And I really was expecting it to turn down here, but it went right on through. It took a minute. Actually, I shouldn't say it went right on through. It took a little work. And... Um, and then it moved on up and turned down. And when it did, I drew this line off and I pulled it down. And it didn't fit perfectly down here, but it did. And you see now we're moving on up. Um, I would expect we got a little break of this channel here, unless this is a two-tiered channel. So, um, But I really would expect prices to move on up to either make a measured move from the range or even a measured move from this leg right here. And let's, uh, that would put us up to the 1935 area. But this would be my first target. I, I don't see us making that with this channel line unless we shoot on through it. We had a little overshoot here. And notice we overshot it about the same down here. 
but um, I didn't like enter. I don't think you can enter long right here. Um, you know, it's the, if you got a little tick lower, maybe. But the fact that we didn't, I just didn't like entering long there. Um, and really, there's a second entry long here. But the reason I didn't mark this one was that this there's a good chance this is a failed breakout. You're looking for a retest of the high, which we did get. But notice that little channel working down there. And that's the first. I really thought it would tick lower once more, but it didn't. So that's a nice bullish bar, though. So for those purposes, and it is a second entry, even though I didn't like it and didn't take it, I don't, you know, it might have looked a little better on another chart. I don't think you can, it's aggressive on my chart. It, it meets the rules though, so I'm going to go ahead and mark it in green. But I, I didn't take that trade, just be straight up with you. I missed it. Um, and it would have worked. But uh, then you get the failed break higher. And the turn down, and it turns down right off that line, and just that really more than confirms that line working up through there. So I like that one. Um, and I really thought there was a chance we might, if we went on down lower here, that we'd get back in the range. But when we bounced again off that same line, um, you couldn't deny that we're probably going higher from here. And as slow as it was, and I'm going to go ahead and mark that trade right there because that was the second entry long and we're looking for pro for prices to test those highs so I wish I'd have held on to my runner now I've been sitting here watching a runner forever off these lows and when it turned down right there I closed it and now I wish I'd have held it uh, but my gut feeling told me we were going up there but I just got tired of waiting on it I'm ready to wrap it up I'm not, you know, ready to wrap it up and go on vacation but Anyway, then we're, then you get this short. It's moving down. This was the first break. I like this because it was really kind of a trap. Notice it broke lower, turned out, went up the upside, and then turned right back down. It's a second entry short right there. And you're looking for prices to come down here, maybe down to here, and at least retest that low. So good short right there. Um, it pulls back and get and have. And has, there's a, actually a failed second entry long here counting off these highs. But it's so close to those lows in that trend line that you just can't take that. And it does bounce. And then, you, you know, I don't think you can take a first entry there because there's a chance you might get a measured leg. And, the, and there's a chance the range might uh, be in play. And, and there was a little break here with a new high. So there's always a chance it goes lower here. So I don't think you could uh, go long on that first entry but when it pulls back and gives you that little bitty doji and a very low risk uh entry i like that and then you get um you actually get a failed second entry short right here for the most part this never ticks lower so it's really the failed second entry short doesn't come to here and so it's a second entry long it's a failed second entry short and um, had I still been trading, I would have probably taken that trade. That was a really pretty nice setup. And had it, I'd seen that um, before I exited my, you know, if we'd have turned back up and started trying to go higher before I had uh, closed out my runner, I would have held it at least uh, till we made a new high off of this possible, this short-term channel. Because it looks like we had a, I mean, that's so close. It may not even be considered a close outside. Again, it's real close. This could actually be just a little lower. And then we really hadn't had a close outside. Even though this traded outside, it never closed outside. So, and it could be that this is a little higher here and there's, and that that's a midline. So you got to be real careful on that. And that does fit right there. So, um, I don't know if we've had a break of this little channel yet. Just based on my looking at it, I, you know, I'd still would look to see us make a new high here before this is over. We'll see. Um, I don't see it worth taking a trade this late in the day now. This one was really right at the, really right before 2 o'clock or right at 2 o'clock, so I think you're okay there. It's still not quite 2.30. That's kind of my cutoff time. I, I really don't like to even trade after lunch, to be honest. But as far as our rules I've, I've created, I say don't take a trade after 2.30. Now, you can st if you're managing a runner or you're swing trading, there's nothing wrong with hanging in a trade you're already in. Just don't start any new trades after 2.30 is 
really what the rule is. So I hope that makes sense. But um, but that was pretty much the trades for today. Um, still wouldn't surprise me to see us. If we shoot up to here, that gets us back to the top of the channel. It gives us the measured move on the range from the early morning. So I can't rule out that we're not going to here yet. Until, I, until we start working lower, this would be my target if I was still trading. So that's what I'm looking for. Maybe 19, uh, 32, 33 area, somewhere right in there. And, you know, if it flattens out and then goes on over, you know, that puts us way out here. So um, it's possible we could reach that next target. But this would be my target right in here. If, or at least my next target if I was still trading, 1932.50 uh, 50 or so. But that's what I saw today. A couple of things. Uh, I'm start, I'm leaving them for vacation tomorrow. So uh, at this point, I may be coming back Wednesday. So if I do, I may trade Thursday or Friday, depending on how I feel when I come back. And I may stay on vacation all week i'm actually going to the college world series so it depends on how well my team does we've got two guaranteed games sunday night and tuesday and uh, i've only got tickets to those two games so uh, i don't think i'll have a problem getting tickets to the others if we keep winning so if we keep winning i may stay out there uh, i may still come home wednesday regardless just depends on how it's going so Actually, what I guess where I'm going with that is uh, no chart lessons, and uh, I won't be answering any emails other than emergency emails. I always take my laptop in case somebody has a problem downloading a manual or something of that nature, emergency. Then I'll, you know, I only well, I'll only answer those. So, you know, if you will, if you've got questions as far as trading or how your trading is going next week, just hold on to those and uh, send them to me later so that I don't come back swamped uh, from a million. Uh, questions and things like that. If you don't mind, I would appreciate it. And I hope everybody's had a good trading week. It's been a pretty good week. Um, we've had our moments where it's been slow, but we've had some really good moves and some really good setups. And uh, But uh, this is it for me and uh, until probably late next week or uh, maybe not even trading at all, or maybe nothing at all next week. So again, no midday charts next week until I get back. And that could be all week and no uh, chart lessons till I get back. And that could be all week as well. Again, I might come in the latter part of the week if I come back uh, on Wednesday. So, but for now, I'm going to wrap it up uh, and we'll be back to do it again, uh, probably in uh, end of next week or the beginning of the following week. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com and we'll see you next time.